Step 5. Entanglement distribution with a satellite. In the final experiment that we're going to cover, we're going to consider using an MSM link over extremely long distances. This experiment was performed by Yin and collaborators in 2017 in China using this Chinese satellite Mishis over here, located at approximately altitude of 500 kilometers above Earth. And the two ground stations that were used uh, to demonstrate entanglement distribution were one was in Qinghai and the other one was in Yunnan. The separation between two, these two is a staggering 1200 kilometers much, much longer than all the experiments we've covered so far. And both stations with a pretty high elevation of over 3,000 meters. So in order to make this experiment work, the source of a photon pairs, of entangled photon pairs, must be extremely rugged because it's placed in a rocket, it needs to survive um, the launch of the rocket and then be able to produce high quality entangled photon pairs. So the source was producing the following state, our friend Psi plus, uh, which is an equal superposition of HV and VH, where again H and V are horizontally polarized photons and vertically polarized photons respectively. They were produced by the process of spontaneous parametric down conversion, SPDC, where 405 nanometer photons were being down converted into pairs of 810 nanometer photons. The pump power of the source was 30 milliwatts and it was producing just shy of 6 million entangled pairs per second. The fidelity was quite high 0.907 plus or minus 0.007. This is not at the ground stations, this is purely just at the source. There were also many sources of errors. Because the photons had to travel a very long time, attenuation was the main, uh, main problem. But unlike in the fibers, there are a few other uh, factors associated with how the photons are attenuated or simply lost or not detected by the ground stations. So the distance traveled through atmosphere was varying between 500 and 2000 kilometers because um, the position of the satellite was also varying. Significant sources of errors at these distances are also the following. We have to make sure that the uh, photons are exiting the satellite and they're aligned properly with the ground station. So one uh, source of error leading to more attenuation or more photon loss was misalignment, simply when photons were not hitting the ground stations. A different related source of error was diffraction. And this is because at these extreme distances, the beam cannot stay perfectly collimated. So it's not a perfectly, it's not traveling in perfectly straight lines, but it spreads over distance. This resulted in more photon loss. The average attenuation over these distances varied from 64 to 82 dB. Compare this with the attenuation in step three, where we talked about photonic uh, entanglement distribution between uh, two islands of the Canary Islands, which was only 32 dB. But still, the experiment managed to show without a doubt um, entanglement distribution between the ground stations. Uh, the experimentalists used violation of Bell's inequality to show this. The fidelity of the states at the ground station was measured to be 0.87 plus or minus 0.09. The duration of the test was a little bit over 1000 seconds and in this time the experimentalists managed to run just over 1000 trials. This gives an average for two photon count rate of uh, 1.1 Hz. And the obtained uh, violation of Bell's inequality was reported at 2.37 plus or minus 0.09. So despite all of these losses, this is an amazing achievement. And if you recall our discussion of um, loopholes in uh, violation of Bell's inequality from step one, uh, then you will recall the locality loophole, which means that the two ground stations must be uh, non-commuting uh, non and because of the vastness of the huge distance between these two ground stations, this loophole was also um, demonstrably closed. This concludes our discussion of the ba basic experimental progress um, 
uh, when it comes to uh, building quantum networks. We covered uh, quantum networks with only two nodes, but also quantum networks with three nodes. We covered photonic technologies um, in the form of the satellite or in the form of the um, bell pair distribution in Canary Islands, as well as stationary memories in the form of NV centers in diamond and trapped ions in ca optical cavities. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about um, testbed in Japan.